poem is called Directive, written by Robert Frost. Back out of all this now too much for us. Back in a time made simple by the loss of detail, burned, dissolved, and broken off. Like graveyard marble sculpture in the weather. There is a house that is no more a house, upon a farm that is no more a farm, and in a town that is no more a town. The road there, if you'll let a guide direct you, who only has at heart your getting lost, may seem as if it should have been a quarry. Great monolithic knees, the former town, long since gave up pretense of keeping covered. And there's a story in a book about it. Besides the wear of iron wagon wheels, the ledges show lines ruled southeast, northwest. The chisel work of an enormous glacier that braced his feet against the Arctic pole. You must not mind a certain coolness from him, still said to haunt this side of Panther Mountain. Nor need you mind the serial ordeal of being watched from forty cellar halls as if by eye pairs out of forty firkins. As for the woods' excitement over you that sends light rustle rushes to their leaves, charged that to upstart inexperience. Where were they all not twenty years ago? They think too much of having shaded out a few old pecker fretted apple trees. Make yourself up a cheering song of how someone's rode home from work this once was, who may be just ahead of you on foot or creaking with a buggy load of grain. The height of the adventure is the height of country where two village cultures faded into each other. Both of them are lost. And if you're lost enough to find yourself by now, pull in your ladder road behind you and put a sign up closed to all but me. Then make yourself at home the only field now left no bigger than a harness gall. First there's the children's house of make-believe, some shattered dishes underneath the pine, the playthings in the playhouse of the children. Weep for what little things could make them glad. Then for the house that is no more a house, but only a belilac cellar hall, now slowly closing like a dent in dough. This was no playhouse, but a house in earnest. Your destination and your destiny's a brook that was the water of the house, cold as a spring as yet so near its source, too lofty and original to rage. We know the valley streams that, when aroused, will leave their tatters hung on barb and thorn. I have kept hidden in the instepped arch of an old cedar at the waterside, a broken drinking goblet like the grail under a spell, so the wrong ones can't find it, so can't get saved, as St. Mark says they mustn't. I stole the goblet from the children's playhouse. Here are your waters and your watering place. Drink and be whole again beyond confusion. Have you ever fancied yourself being on a team, playing with others, running around a field, throwing balls with each other? Well, have we got a surprise for you. Here is Dr. Ghoul's baseball hat. <laughs> Perfect for all you little monsters who like to play. The Dr. Ghoul Show is sponsoring a baseball team called, of all things, the Bats. <laughs> this can be purchased along with t-shirts and mugs through the Dr. Ghoul Etsy shop. Enjoy, my ghoulish fiends, and play safe.